I'm back. Not that I was gone for very long, but I'm back. That album review we got here. Not doing an album review this time, though. I know I said that I wouldn't do anything else until I got back on schedule with them. But I'll do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm doing that. Right now. Because this is important. Kind of. Not really, though. But, to you, maybe. Slipknot released a new song today. And this is their first one in six years, if I'm not mistaken. And it's called The Negative One. Now, before I talk about this song, let me talk about Slipknot a bit. I am not a fan of Slipknot. And to be honest, I actually only really, really like, like genuinely like, one of their songs. And that song is Before I Forget. Never really gotten a wait and bleed for some reason. But I am familiar with their work. And this new song, well, it's what you would expect from Slipknot. I mean, you know, those heavy guitar riffs, instrumentals, and the kind of new metal style vocals from Corey Taylor. They have changed a bit. Uh, but, you know, as far as instrumentals go, it does sound like some of their older stuff. The vocals, not really. I mean, it's kind of a new style from Corey Taylor, but it's still Slipknot-esque vocals, Slipknot-esque uh, instrumentals. You know, it's a very Slipknot-esque song, which it should be, since it's by Slipknot. Uh, even though, you know, in the time since Slipknot released a new song, uh, six years, you know, the death of the bassist Paul Gray, uh, the drummer Joey Jordison leaving the band, you know, Slipknot's still going. They're still going, even though they have seven members now. Well, I don't, um, I shouldn't say that, because I think they have a new drummer, and possibly a new bassist. I don't want really to keep up with the members all that much, but their, uh, two of their original members are gone. I, I can say that. But they're still going. And they're going to be releasing a new album in the future. And this song is going to be on that album. The negative one. I mean, I'm not going to say I like it. I'm not going to say I hate it. It's okay. I mean, I'm not a fan of Slipknot. Uh, I'm not a fan of most of their work. I mean, it just doesn't click with me. I mean, Slipknot, um, I, I like one of their songs, and I can tolerate some of their stuff, but I'm not really a fan of it. Stone Sour is a better Corey Taylor band, in my opinion. But this new Slipknot song, the negative one, wasn't terrible, and it's not the best either. But what did you guys think of the negative one? What are your thoughts on Slipknot in general? Are you looking forward to the new album? Let me know. Let me know. You know, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Facebook link in the description. And that is all for this video. This is the album reviewer guy. This is now officially... Signing off, bra.